Hi, I'm Liz Hill, I'm Prostatus Orthotus with SPS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. In this series, I'm joined by Jack Kelserine, Director of Clinical Education from 2AN USA. Welcome, Jack. Yeah, thank you, Liz. I'm excited to be here and talk about TLSOs with you. We are highlighting the sleek TLSO series here starting from more flexible to more rigid. When we look at the sleek TLSO line, we start with the flex, which is our most flexible TLSO. And so that is under the L code of L0456. And then if you want more rigidity for your patient, you can move up to the sleek adapt TLSO, which is also under that same L code of L0456. So Jack, let's talk about the two uh, flexible options that you have here, um, uh, specifically on the posterior side. Yeah, so right here we have the Flex TLSO, and then next to it we have the Adapt TLSO, um, and they're both under that L code of L0456, but one of the major ways that you can tell a difference between the two is the support that's on this posterior side. So you see that the flexible TLSO has more of a flexible panel in the back of it. And then when we move to the adapt, it's a little bit more rigid. And we see this pocket here where we have a stay running down the back, providing more sturdy support. We also see that the strapping system on the adapt goes under the axilla, whereas on the flex on the front, it actually goes down and connects into the uh, inferior aspect of the device. Nice, and I see two little circular sections here. Can you explain to our customers what that's for? Definitely, so we have the ability to do a partner program um, where a little sticker could be placed in these sections um, with the American flag or maybe a company logo on there as well. Fantastic. For even more support and maximum level of control of the spine, you move up to the Sleek Max, which has that anterior sternal bar on it, and that is L0464. So Jack, in looking at the Max TLSO, um, point out some of the significant features here. Yeah, so we're on the posterior side of the Max TLSO, and you can see that compared to the Flex and the Adapt, we do have a little bit different system up here for the straps. So this is actually a Velcro piece that can be lifted up and moved more inferior or superior in order to accommodate the patient. And then we have the clips from the front straps that go right into these little docks here. So on top of that, as we look at the waist belt, we still have that universal sizing crescent connectors. Um, and then those are the features on this posterior side. And Jack, yeah, I love the breathability here inserted into this posterior panel, as well as the adjustability here for that inferior superior alignment for the patient as well. Yeah, we've really tried to keep it lightweight and low profile. And now flipping over to the anterior section, I uh, noticed some really great options for adjustability. Yeah, so starting from the inferior side, we have the waist belt that has the universal sizing and the quick adjustability. Then as we move up, we have the sternal bar and the option for a shorter sternal bar as well. Then we look at the straps um, that connect in here that can go down to the parking garage as well. Excellent, and this is a nice swivel sternal bar, so that really adapts to different patients' anatomy. The sternal bar is also malleable, so it can be adjusted to the patient's angle, spine yeah. angle. So we have going from the most flexible to adaptable without the anterior panel, and then up to the anterior panel in the sleep max for maximum control. That's our lineup that's on the table today. Fantastic, Jack, and with each uh, TLSO, you're also going to receive a flexible extension panel, an anterior panel, lateral panels. These all coincide with the Flex um, TLSO series. And then on the Max, we have the lateral panels plus a more rigid type of extension panel and an option for a shorter sternal bar. Yeah, so we're really excited about the shorter sternal bar because that is what our customers were asking for. Mm -hmm. So they said they had those patients that have a shorter stature for their torso and they needed something that was shorter to be uh, positioned correctly on those frames. So uh, the shorter sternal bar is about two inches shorter and can be swapped out. Well, if you'd like more information about the 2N USA Sleek TLSO series, Go to spsco.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Jack. Thank you.